Hello guys, this is Microhound Computers. Hope you're doing well today. We're going to review the Dell Fostro 3500. This is a very nice machine. It's got uh, the new iCore processors, webcam, basically everything you need. So uh, we'll just go over a few of the features here. We've got the keyboard here, uh, standard layout. You also have uh, some indicator lights right here for hard drive, wireless, caps lock, Bluetooth, that kind of deal. You also have the touch sensitive keys right here for you know muting, uh, volume up and down, you know playback for your video. Got your power button there. And this one, like I said, does have the Core i3. That's a 2.4 gigahertz with uh, four threads, which is very nice. Windows 7 64 bit. And uh, you can see we got a little, little power indicator light right there. Also got a headphone jack. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can or not. But you got a headphone jack, a uh, microphone jack. And we have a wireless on and off switch there as well. And uh, the touchpad is very nice on this one. This is a multi touch gesture where you can do uh, similar gestures like on an iPhone which is a nice feature so we'll look up here this also has a webcam on it with uh, digital array microphones that help out with noise cancelling during video conferencing nice feature so we'll just move on to the back of the machine So we're looking at the back of the machine here, uh, not too many peripherals back here, but this is the silver Aberdeen color and it does have the metal finish, no plastic, more durable. So we'll move on to the right side of the computer. So we're looking at the right side of the laptop, you can see there starting out we have the express card slot where you can put in phone cards or different peripherals. You also have a SD card slot. I believe that's a three or four in one uh, card slot. So moving up here, we have the DVD rewritable, CD rewritable uh, burning. Also watch DVDs of course. And we have a USB 2.0 port right there. Also have the Ethernet port so you can hardwire this in. So we'll move on to the left side of the laptop. So we're on the other side here and we have two USB ports there. Also have an HDMI. Moving up to the eSATA and you've got the HDMI for high definition input and output of you know video and sound. eSATA is going to be nice if you like to transfer files. It's a little bit quicker than USB 2.0. Also got the VGA right there where you can also do uh, video out, no sound. And we also got the exhaust fan for the processor. And right there at the top you have the AC adapter uh, input the plug and you also have the Kensington lock so now we're going to do an overview of the software we have on here uh, first off the computer when you get it from micround.com has been tuned up any trial wear is removed so it runs very good um, some of the programs we put on there uh, start out with is the cleaner this is CCleaner. We highly recommend this. This basically cleans automatically. Uh, we set it up to automatically clean you know, your temporary files, cookies, history, all the junk that comes from the internet. You can manually run that. It usually takes a couple seconds. We also have a defragmenting program on here and this is you can run it monthly as you see here. Double click on it, plus, press defrag 
and this usually takes you know 20 30 minutes to do depending on how bad it is and we recommend doing that once a month you also have a picture suite on here this is made by Picasso and you can do some some nice editing on here very easily you can double click on it um, you can you know say you want to make it black and white click right on black and white boom ready to go very nice feature that also integrates with Gmail which is nice you can send your pictures with one click the internet browser we have on here is Google Chrome it's very fast runs very clean snappy less chances of getting viruses very nice you can also grab up here bring to the side press that tab bring another slide over here boom you got two things at once so if you're doing research and you want to look at two websites very easily to do that if you want to do some office documents we got an office suite on here this is compatible with Microsoft it's will open edit uh, save as Microsoft uh, some models do come with Microsoft Office pre-installed this one just happened to not so we will make sure you have something on there so if you open this up it looks very similar to Word if you go to save something we have it set up to save as Microsoft Word for you so essentially going to do the same thing you can also bring that over and do two things at once as well you can grab one of the windows and shake it it's going to put everything else to the bottom so you can focus on one thing very nice feature of Windows 7 also got iTunes on here for you so if you uh, want to hook up your iPod listen to any podcast or can do that and uh, that just that's a basic overview we don't have a bunch of junk on here just stuff you need and it's gonna work really well for you so that's a basic overview for you and if you have any questions just visit us at microhound.com we thank you so much for watching have a great day